Welcome everyone to an open NRG stadium in Houston, Texas and the New York Jets franchise. This week, the Jets will take on the Texans. The six and seven Texans are in second place in the AFC South and with a huge win over the Colts last week, need to stay on a win streak in order to take the lead in that division. They're still in the playoff hunt and a win here today would go a long way to helping their cause. The Jets, on the other hand, are sitting in third place in the AFC East behind New England and Buffalo. They also need a win here if they have any hopes of taking over the second spot in their division and come that much closer to a playoff spot as well. Houston has been gaining a lot of traction behind the running of Kareem Hunt and he needs to be successful in order for the Texans to maintain their status as a running football team. The strength of this Houston team though is in the defense. With the likes of Demarius Morris and Jadeveon Clowney in the rush department and Justin Reed in the backfield, we'll have to see where Donald can find success in the passing game and if the run will be a valid thing against this very strong front seven. Can New York take a win out of Houston this week? Let's find out as the Jets take on the Texans here on the Football Freaks Sports Network. Tyler Brown is the deep back as Trent Lyon gets us underway here in NRG. It's a kneel down and the ball will come out to the 25 yard line. Will Greer, six interceptions on the season, 20 touchdowns and over 3,200 yards. Puts him in a good position as they start this game. Kareem Hunt gets the first carry and he is stopped for a gain of about a yard. And here is the offense of the Texans. Michael Winkler coming over from the Jets. So we'll have to see if he knows what this defense is going to do. Second and nine and Marcus May takes down Jeffrey Fowler and trying to make something off of the wide receiver screen, loses a couple of yards. And it's third and 13 and DeAndre Hopkins catches that one in the left numbers for first down all the way out to the 38 yard line. Greer in the shotgun, takes the snap, fakes it to Hunt and he is set. Brian Poole gets to him back at the 29. So now on third and 16, the pass goes to Hopkins. He can't hang on to it because he was drilled by Chris Gonzalez and that will bring out the Jets offense. Sam Darnold, 12 interceptions and 17 touchdowns not having what you would call a stellar season. And out of the shotgun on the very first play, he gives it off to Jackson and he goes up the middle for a six yard gain. And there are the numbers on him for last week, 22 rushes, 88 yards and trying to improve on that this week. Darnold throws deep and it's incomplete. He was going for Carl Arsenault. So now on third and four, back to pass again and completes it to Chris Herndon, out of bounds at midfield and a first down for the Jets. Back to pass, screen, and Jackson takes it for the first down and more to the 33. Now after a delay of game, the pass, over the middle and it's intercepted. Zach Cunningham makes the grab in the middle of the field and he is tackled at the 37. And I'm not sure where Donald thought he was throwing that because it was right to two defenders just when New York was moving the ball well. And it's now in the hands of the Texans. Hunt has lots of room out to the left. First down out to the 48 yard line. 
Hunt the single setback, a drop back by Greer and a completion over the middle. DeAndre Hopkins all the way into the end zone. He got behind the defense, which was playing the run quite closely. And oh my goodness, that was a wide open DeAndre Hopkins and he didn't have anything but green grass in front of him. So the Texans take the early lead, seven to nothing. After a jet three and out, it is the Texans football again at the 45 yard line, second and seven. The pass over the middle complete to Ebron. He has the first down at the 41. Now in second and 11, another screen pass. Brown makes the reception and is out to the 34 yard line. Third and three, Hunt is stopped. Jamal Adams makes the stop at the 33, a yard shy of the sticks. And out comes Daniel Carlson and he is off to the left, no good. And the score remains seven to nothing. Now Darnold from the 40 yard line. Completes it out to Ross at the 45. Third and five. Darnold barely gets that screen pass away and Jackson does not make it to the sticks. Tackled at the 48. And that brings us to the end of quarter number one with your score seven to nothing. The Texans now from their own 12 yard line. Up the middle goes Hunt and he's out to the 17 yard line. Now on third and seven, Greer gets taken down in the backfield. Raymond Rivers, the rookie out of Miami of Ohio gets his first sack of the game. Now Darnold from the 48. Completes it out to Herndon, and he gets the first down. No, he's just short. Second and inches, and Jackson picks it up, taking it down to the 39-yard line of the Texans. Second and 11, and the pass is completed to the 30-yard line, a yard short of the first down, and Wesco drives forward, for a first down to the 26. Darnold fakes the pass and gives it off to Jackson. Jackson gets the first down all the way down to the 14 yard line. It's now second and 10. Darnold throws complete in the end zone. Touchdown, Chris Herndon. Darnold extends the play with his feet out to the left and finds Chris Herndon in that left corner of the end zone. And that brings the score even, seven to seven. The Texans starting out at their 22. Kareem Hunt gets all the way out to the 31 for a nine yard pickup. So on third and one, Greer keeps it and is absolutely blown up by Cade Hoffman for a loss on the play, but after another jet three and out, the Texans have it back. 48 yard line, Hopkins gets a first down to the 42. Now inside the two minute warning, Higby gets the reception down to the 32. Back to pass, Greer hits Ebron over the middle and he's to the 26 and a timeout taken by the Texans. Back to pass again, over the middle to Ebron again to the 18 yard line and it's second and two. Will Fuller makes a grab over the middle. He's down to the two yard line with 12 seconds left. Daniel Carlson comes on and puts through the field goal, which makes it 10 to seven. 
Houston here at halftime. The defenses have taken control here in the first half. And with that, let's go to Eurocat Baby for a halftime report. We'll get you back out to the action in Houston in just a moment. But an upset could be in the works as the San Francisco 49ers look to have the first half lead with only 10 seconds in the second quarter. Jimmy Garoppolo is 12 of 17, passing the ball for two touchdowns as they head into the locker room. Watson is having a good game as well, but hasn't been able to produce yards like his counterpart on the other side of the field. A Patriot loss would help the Jets situation a great deal. Currently healing from a torn shoulder, New York outside linebacker Lorenzo Carter is projected to be back in the lineup next week. And that could be significant because the Jets need all the depth they can get in the middle of the field. Getting back to our game today, the Jets' offense is definitely struggling and can't seem to find room in the running game against this stingy Texan front seven. Can Darnold and the passing game make up for that? Let's find out as the second half will get started in a moment. Welcome back everyone to NRG Stadium. The Texans have moved the ball primarily through the air. Meanwhile, the Jets haven't even been able to break the 100-yard barrier offensively. What adjustments have been made and will those changes be effective here in the second half? Let's find out as we continue our coverage of this defensive ball game. The Jets have the first possession here in the second half and from their own 25, Darnold drops back, throws complete out to Ross at the 43 for first down. He needed 10 and he got 18. Now on second and eight, Darnold back to pass again and gets thrown down. The sack registered by Demarius Morris. He is definitely a rising star on this Texans defense. Pass over the middle is incomplete, intended for Howard. And that brings up fourth and 17. The Texans get the ball back in their own 25. Greer completes it out to Hopkins at the 33. An eight yard gain. So that brings up second down. Greer doesn't make it out of the backfield. Called his own number on the read option and lost three yards. All day to throw it and it's intercepted. Julian Love to the 10-5 touchdown. A pick six, a 36 yard return. You can see him there on the replay stepping in front of Hopkins and that was it. The score now is 14 to 10. The Jets have taken the lead. Greer is hit, fumbled, and Ja'Kai Polite catches it in midair and returns it for a touchdown. This has completely changed this game. The New York defense has taken over and it's now 21 to 10. Greer throws complete to Hopkins. Definitely liking that slant play. Second and two. And down goes Greer. Tackled by Blake Cashman back at the 29 yard line. Bringing up third and 11. Over the middle goes Greer to Hunt and not even close to the yardage needed for the first down. So the punt goes to Howard. He finds daylight on the left side, makes a cut and is all the way to the 45 yard line of the Texans. A 42 yard return and it puts the Jets in excellent field position. Second and 10 and Jackson cannot even get out of the backfield. Third and 11. Darnold from the shotgun throws over the middle. It's intercepted. Donnell 
Osgood grabbing that one out of the air. And that one was intended for Herndon over the middle. And Darnold just didn't put enough air under that football. And it came down a little bit too soon. Osgood makes the interception and the Texans have the football. Back to pass, a screen to Hunt. Has lots of room and is finally taken down at the 34 yard line. Taj Little making the stop. And out of the shotgun. Greer throws over the middle. Hopkins grabs it and it takes it to the 11 yard line. Now on second and 11. Over the middle. The pass is complete and in the end zone for the touchdown, Jeffrey Fowler. Just a simple down and in route and just enough inside the goal line where the ball was caught and the Texans are going for two. Back to pass, Greer is sat. DeMarcus Faulkner making the stop and that two-point conversion is no good. After another jet three and out. Now in the fourth quarter, Hunt over the middle and he's down to the 41-yard line. First down and this one is caught by Hopkins. I don't know how he got up high enough that was an outstanding catch. So from the 37 yard line, the pass complete. No, it's punched out of there by Julian Love. So third and 10, back to pass. Greer throws in the flats to Hunt and he does not get enough for the first down. Decision time for the Texans and they keep the offense on the field. Fourth and five. Greer throws and it's incomplete. Knocked down by Jerron Mason. And the Jets take over at the 32. Pass over the middle to Herndon for the first down out to the 44 yard line. Out of the shotgun, Darnold fake handoff and he throws it out to Howard. And he makes the grab on the perimeter and out of bounds at the 42. The first down pass is caught by Jordan Thomas for a nine yard pickup. Third and one and Wesco picks up the first at the 32 yard line of the Texans. 21-16 and the Jets are driving Yet again, down to the 27 yard line goes Jackson. Second and five. And Jacobs takes it for the first down to the 18. Now a second and seven. The short pass to Jackson. Takes it down to the eight where it's third and inches. They give it to Wesco again. And he has the first down. 228 left. And Jackson can't get around the edge. And it's now second and goal from the seven. Up the middle, Jackson to the two yard line. And that brings us to the two minute warning. And the Jets trying to preserve this win. Third and goal, screen pass. And he's taken down at the three. Sergio Espinoza takes him down before Jackson can make it into the end zone. Trent Lyon comes on for the field goal. It's up and good and is now 24-16. The Jets have an eight point lead. That means that the Texans would have to drive the field, score the touchdown and the two point conversion just to tie it. Long pass, way overshoots DeAndre Hopkins, but a flag on the play. And it's holding on the offense against Sal Santiago. That brings up second and 20. 
All day long, Greer has to throw it, and it's intercepted. Robert Ramirez at the 36-yard line with the grab falling backwards and maintains an inside-the-boundary footing, and that pretty much puts an end to this football game, a victory formation. A kneel down and this game is over. 24 to 16, the Jets take a win out of Houston. I was certain that from the score at halftime, we were in for a defensive ball game and there was no disappointment. The Jets defense came to the rescue once again with those two picks and a fumble recovery by Polite that very well could have been a pick as well. As a matter of fact, you could say that the defense won this game today because the offense just couldn't get anything sustainable going. The offense didn't even break the 160-yard mark, so I'd say that they were kind of ineffective to say the least. Sam Darnold with under a 50 passer rating and two interceptions struggled all game long to find the open man and with those two picks was so far off target that I would have been surprised if those passes weren't picked off. I will say this though that if Jackson and Jacobs don't get at least 25 touches per game the running game is most likely going to fail. The Texans' front was really stubborn on giving up yards today, but the Jets only attempted 15 runs between those two running backs. Darnold has a really hard time being an effective passer if it's left up to him to be the bread and butter of the offense. Turning to the defense, this was the first week in a while that Jamal Adams wasn't in or very near the lead for the tackle lead in the game. Marcus May was a beast and could be seen all over the field today with 11 tackles. And you can see that New York's focus was on stopping Kareem Hunt and the running game of the Texans because both safeties and the linebackers were constant features in the offensive backfield today with 10 tackles for loss. There were six recorded sacks in the game, and four of them belonged to the Jets' defense. I would say that New York put on a defensive clinic this afternoon. There are two weeks left in the regular season, and I'm not saying that each game doesn't have its challenges, but this next game could very well determine whether or not the Jets go to the playoffs or not. They take on the Patriots back in MetLife Stadium. In their first meeting in Week 10, the Jets won with a 10-point fourth quarter, 17-12. New England holds on to that first place spot via two ties on the season, both in division against the Bills and the Dolphins. New York needs to take the lead in the win column or be at the mercy of of getting a playoff berth via a wild card spot. Watson has passed for just shy of 3,500 yards this season, which is good enough for seventh place in the NFL. Darnold has fallen off that mark drastically, only being able to hold down a 27th place spot at this point. On paper anyway, the Pats have a mediocre front seven, so the running game could find a little room. But the strength of the defense is in the secondary. If running room isn't the answer next week, Donald will be hard pressed to find open receivers downfield. That's going to do it for this week's episode of the New York Jets franchise here on the Football Freaks Sports Network. The New York defense was your game ball winner today, not only forcing three turnovers in the game, but holding Kareem Hunt to just 25 yards. Can that performance be duplicated next week against the Patriots? I feel that in order for the Jets to be successful, they're going to need to find a running game. 
this week just didn't get it done, and New York will need a flawless game to get it done next week. Will the Jets be able to keep up with the very high-powered offense of the Patriots? Be with us to find out when the Jets invite the Patriots to MetLife Stadium. And until we see you then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now, and have a good day, everyone.